Hello. My name is Baby Fun TV Latest Finger Family Songs and Rhymes, and I'm the creator of the video Wrong Heads, Disney, Wrong Ears, Wrong Legs, Kids Learn Colours, Finger Family 2017 Nursery Rhymes. So the premise of the video is you've got these four characters that were originally from Aladdin, and their heads come off uh, bloodlessly, and the four heads float around Aladdin's body. Actually, that's a bit of a spoiler. Um, we don't know it's Aladdin's body yet. It's just... You forget I said that. It's just it's, it's a body, and eventually the monkey's head floats onto Aladdin's butt onto the body, and the little girl from Despicable Me floats into the scene, and she cries because it's the wrong head. That head doesn't go with that body, and then the same thing happens to the genie head, and the girl cries again because it's wrong again. She cries for a bit longer that one actually because either that's particularly distressing to her, or just because of the overall accumulation of problems. And then Jasmine's head has a go, and the girl cries about that too, which is quite rude actually, because that's just a human head and a human body. She's basically crying about gender nonconformity. I wrote her to be a bit of a bigot, in fact. I felt that gave her a layer of complexity. Uh, I mean, you don't want to just write the perfect hero, do you? That's boring, it's not realistic. I wanted to give her a bit of nuance, a bit of an edge, um, make a sort of an, an anti-hero. And finally we get the right head. Aladdin's flesh is as one again. The girl celebrates, confetti falls, we move on to the next body. And now we get three heads rotating around the screen instead of four, so Aladdin's head is out of the running. I am crediting my audience with the intelligence to understand that Aladdin's head is fully accounted for and is no longer required here. And it goes on like that. And you get the gist now, I think. It's just a silly little video that I made. It's it's nothing, really. It's just, you know, I know it's not high art. It's not going to sit in the pantheon of children's TV greats. Uh, I'm no Oliver Postgate, but, uh, yeah, it'll just be, you know, a, a fun little video for, for, the, for the children. Just, just a harmless little video for the, for the children. Anyway, a few days ago I started getting a load of hits, um, a load of views uh, on my video. People were watching it, people were watching my video. I was, I was thinking, wow, I, I've, I've made it, I'm, I'm, I'm popular now. It's, people are finally starting to appreciate my work. Well... It turns out, a column uh, called Something Is Wrong on the Internet by a James Bridal commissioned by Medium.com mentioned my video, along with other, some might say, inferior videos, and refers to it in such terms as strange and troubling and decidedly off and makes out like I'm some kind of robot. I'm human passing, and I was just trying to create something from the heart. And this is the thanks I get? Baby Fun TV only has 170 subscribers and very low view rates. Well, fuck you too. What's so disturbing about this anyway? I mean, for goodness sake, one of the reasons he cites is that I'm mixing characters from different films. That's called a crossover. I mean, there's a Justice League film coming up, and you don't see people complaining about that's a bad example. But the Avengers, people like the Avengers. How is this any different? Granted, I could have chosen a less disturbing crying sound effect, but it's... I mean, you're calling me a robot? I think it's flaws like that, actually, that make it truly human. And you seem to be the ones here looking for some kind of sterile, robotic perfection, you fucking terminators. Anyway, crying's all the rage right now. All the top videos for children have crying in them. It's 2017. Children love crying. This won't seem disturbing when you compare it to the pornography we're going to get in eight years' time. Trust me, not until you've received analingus from a man who grew up watching WWE Kiss My Ass matches do you truly appreciate how childhood media consumption can shape one's sexuality. I mean, you get people wondering why there's all these women gagging in porn these days, and it's like, have you never even seen Lazy Town? Look, if it's that much of an issue, I'll dub it. If that will make you happy, I will do a new vocal track for you right now.
Daddy finger, daddy finger.